Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create three gorgeous nail art designs using nude and white. So keep on watching if you would like to see more. So to start off my first nail art, I'm going to be using this peachy nude color and apply one coat to my nails, leaving a little space by my cuticle. And after the first coat dries, I'm going to apply a second coat. After my nails have completely dried, I'm going to use some white acrylic paint with a very fine detailing brush dipped in water and slightly dilute my paint since it is quite thick and to make it a thinner consistency makes it a whole lot easier to do really detailed and intricate designs. So I'm just going to start by outlining that curved line that we made earlier with the polish. And right above that, just create an identical line um, about a few millimeters apart. Then turning your brush vertically with very minimal paint on your brush because you want these lines to be very, very thin. I'm going to create tiny vertical lines connecting the two curved lines that we created. And take your time with this, there's no need to rush because it is definitely harder than it looks, believe me. I've tried and failed many, many times before I got it right for this tutorial. Now I'm going to take my dotting tool dipped into some white acrylic paint and form dots going all the way across that top curved line like so. And this really completes the lacy design look. Then I'm going to seal everything in with a matte top coat by Revlon. However, if you prefer a glossier finish, then feel free to use a shiny top coat. Now to start off the second nail art, which kind of looks like a chandelier theme, I'm going to be taking the Sinful Color Nail Polish Color in Vacation Time number 264. It's a very brownie nude color and it's so gorgeous. I can't believe it's only $2. I'm going to be applying two coats on my nails, allowing them to dry before moving on to the next step. So just like before, I'm going to be using that same white acrylic paint um, along with some water and the exact same detailing brush, diluting the paint a little bit so it's easier to work with. And then I'm going to start by creating a small diamond shape right in the middle of my nail at the very tip of the nail. And take your time with this, you don't want to rush as you want your lines to be perfect. Next, I'm going to create some curved lines from each, each of the side of my nails going towards the center bottom of the diamond that we created. I hope that makes sense. Just watch the video, it does a far better job of explaining it than I do. <laughs> well, personally I feel because I'm a visual learner. Now for the fun part, I'm going to create little dots on the bottom of every line. So we're not going on top of the line, we're going underneath it. So it kind of looks like a little chandelier glass. And this really does complete and add some elegance to the look, which I really, really enjoy. I'm feeling like a little bit of glass for this design, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Sally Hansen Strengthening Top Coat for that high gloss finish and our look is complete. Moving on to the final nail arch which also happens to be my absolute favorite from all three. I'm going to go in with my Simple Color Brownie Nude Polish in the color Vacation Time once more. Apply a couple of coats of that, allow it to dry, and then 
I'm going to use that same detailing brush with that watered down white acrylic paint and I'm just going to start by outlining the perimeter of my nails trying to keep the lines as thin and as neat as possible. And please ignore the fact that my nails are matte. I did go in with a matte top coat because I thought I was going to stick with the matte theme but then afterwards I realized it looks so much better with a shiny top coat. So please ignore the matte top coat part and just pretend that that never happened. Our secret. So here's where you can get creative. I decided to do a horizontal line going across the nail, then one going straight down the middle like so. And then I did some fancy thing where I did a horizontal line going right by that cuticle area-ish. And then a diagonal line going down, creating a little diamond, sorry, a triangle shape. But you can definitely be creative with this and put the lines wherever you like. But the important part is placing the little fine lines like such. You want to kind of switch up the pattern. So here I'm going vertically down and then I guess the same in the middle portion there. Uh, I try to use a light hand when trying to get the lines as thin as possible. Also adding water to the paint really helps as well. And then here I'm going to switch positions and make a diagonal line going across like so and you get the idea just watch the video I just realized that my nails kind of look like a Egyptian mummy kind of wrapped up in bandages going in all different directions. What do you think? Anyway, so here I'm topping everything off with a shiny top coat. Feel free to do a matte coat, but to be honest, I think the shiny one looks really good for this particular design. I absolutely love this design. I'm so glad it turned out the way I hoped and more. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please let me know which one of the three is your favorite in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the description bar where I'm going to list all the products that I use in this video. So if you're interested in some of the colors and the products that I use, you can definitely find it down in the description bar. Other than that, I am so thankful for you stopping by my channel and checking out this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it and share and like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care everyone.